What's going on, everybody? It's Star Skater 7 once again, and uh, we're still on a Hogwarts Legacy. Um, man, look, this game is the definitive best Harry Potter game of all time, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, we're back again. We're going to record a little bit more gameplay. We're going to explore um, the Hogwarts Tower. We're going to explore just around the area for the most part and see what little secrets we can find. I, when I say that this building, this world that we're in right now is, is extremely massive. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Oh, before I even do that, I want to say that if you have a uh, Harry Potter fan club account online, if you're playing this game, make sure you link your account because then you can get your wand and a little bit of a few items like a mask and I think your wand within the game as well if you link it. So make sure you do that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start um, exploring. Let's start here at the founding. I tried conjuring a pillar the other day. Ended up with a hedgehog. Not terribly comfortable to sleep on, I'd imagine. That's pretty cool. Let's see this what she has to possibly say. possibly possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Okay. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Okay, let's, let's let's check it out. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. All right, let's take a look at it. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. I think she just gave me a... Uh, a um, I think that she just gave me a, uh, a clue. Revelio. Ah. Okay. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. Hmm. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. Let's see. There's a what? Another the statue? Let's see if we can find it. Doesn't look like it's down there. When I tell you that there are so many secrets in this game, it's ridiculous. Uh, can we go in here? Nope. Level locked. Let's see if we can find this statue with the weird person in a thing. Let's check the bottom levels first. Oh, right here. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, okay. So bringing him back to that frame that I just passed up. I do look forward to going home because they're missing. Reven <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Nice. <laughs> so where is Lenora? Where'd she go? Ah. She's right there. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You good. have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. No problem. The moth! I should have seen that. So the game is riddled with like little mini quests all throughout the freaking game. Like it's a lot of fun. This game is so much fun. And then, like, uh, like, so in a minute, uh, I'll run outside because I'm still very fresh in this game. But, like, the amount of detail that they put into this game. Look at this. You really do feel like you're in Hogwarts. Every, just about every single painting moves. And there's, like, little bitty secrets all over the tower. I'm just going to run up. There are cats all over the place that you can pet. Um, but there are all kinds of things. Look at this. There's a keyhole. And I'm pretty sure you can open it up some kind of way. 
but I haven't got to that yet. So I mean, every turn that you take, there's something new that you can discover. Every time you see something, you think, hmm, can I interact with that? Is there a riddle? Is there a secret that I can find? I'm in just one section of it right now, too. So I'm going to run up the stairs and see if there's anything I can find. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Well, thank you. Let's see, what else is up here? So uh, we're at the top, upper level here. And it's running pretty butter buttery smooth. Uh, what is this? Okay, so let me reveal. Revelio. Oh, you see that only a couple of them. Oh, and it reveals everywhere else too. So look, um, let me roll that. Uh, there's a three-headed snake. Okay, it doesn't look like I can't find that. So, let's see. Maybe it's over here. There's that. And then what's the other one? So, it's a lock. Huh. I don't know. No idea. Alright, so we're going to leave that alone for right now. But I'm pretty sure that there's some type of... Uh, some way to do that. What they put here? What is this? Rebellion. Ah. Okay, so you two. Uh, what is that saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Saying uh, two to equals fourteen plus a snake. So what's a snake? Snake equals nine, maybe. I don't know. Let's search the chest, though. Oh, there's a cipher! Cool! <laughs> See, it's shit like this in the game. Like, this is amazing. So I'm going to take a picture of that. And then I'm going to get back and try to figure this out. So zero is, a, is the uh, sloth-looking thing. In fact, let me put, pull this up and put it right in front of me on my phone. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. And then Revelio. they're saying that um, 14. Are we trying to add up 14? What are we trying to do? I'm not sure what we're trying to do. Or we're trying to add the two symbols to make the number within it. Maybe? So if the snake, three-headed snake is three, and we're trying to make nine, we need to get six. So then one of these needs to be um, salamander. I don't know. Nothing there. There's that one for the salamander. And then, so what did the other one have to be? Let's see. I may just leave this alone right now. So that's, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's almost like a hex decimal. Okay. Oh, you know what? Because there's one question mark on the one on the left and then two question marks on the one on the right. So if I want to equal four, then I have to have one, zero, and three. So whatever three is, which is going to be the uh, Hydra, I have to put that on there. So it's got to be the Hydra for this one. And then for this one, if they're saying that two plus the Hydra, or not the, the three-headed Hydra, three-headed snake, um... My bad, this one is wrong. I have to do... 
No, actually, that's right. That is right. Okay, so then 2 plus 3. That's 5. And then I have to make 9. So I gotta find whatever equals 4. And that's gonna be some kind of a weird signal. Or symbol. This is that. Okay. That's that. Just figured it out. Nice. Just figured it out. It took me a second to get it, but having like the little guide right there made it easier. And then noticing that the uh, they had the uh, question marks, so that's pretty cool. So what's in here? What is this? Oh, there are more ciphers all over the place, and I gotta figure it all out. Striped scarf. Cool. This is another one of those little ciphers. Same symbols, so I can should be able to figure it out pretty good. Revelio. Nothing there. Lumos. Protego. Okay, so not much. Okay, so the one roll. Uh, let's figure this out. We have two there. Oh, we have three. That's another two. So these are da da da. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try Rebellion. to reveal some secrets here. Maybe something. There's a chest inside there I can see. What's this? What's this? May not be nothing, but then again, maybe. telling you there's so much stuff in this game like look at this here I see a symbol there Revelio. I really can't see much but see that both symbols are the same thing Lumos okay so I'm gonna have to figure this out I'm not sure what they're looking for here because it doesn't really say much. So what do they want? Where are the clues? Not sure. Not sure, not sure. sure what they're really asking for here unless we gotta put this in numerical order one two three four not sure don't know and unicorn should be next yep unicorn is next should be like some kind of a weird symbol here that one and then the next one should be like a Hydra, if I'm not mistaken. And maybe I'll open it up. Ah, okay. Nice. So we have to make 15 here uh, with the one. <clears throat> so then uh, that's going to be 5 plus 6, which is 11. And I have to make 15, so whatever 4 is... I have to open that up. So four is gonna be the weird looking symbol. So then this needs to be the weird looking um, head thing or whatever, that. And then for this one, it's uh, making 13. Okay, no, I'm sorry, it makes 18. So the sloth is gonna be zero plus 13 and they need to make 18. So I need to find whatever five is. And five is like this weird spider looking feature this one so I should be able to open this now
Revelio. Lumos. Okay. Oh, I see that cat. I think I saw that cat earlier. Okay. So let's go ahead and f let's figure out this next one here. We are, we're done with this one. Looks like I can reveal this, so I can. All right. So let's see. On the left side, it's six plus five, which is eleven, and they need to make seventeen. So we need to find six, which should be the salamander for this for this first one. Now, on the next one, they want to make eight. So we have the zero plus, it looks like an octopus. The octopus is seven, and we need to make eight. So we need to find whatever one is, which should be the unicorn. And then now we should be able to open this. Revelio. See anything else in here? Lumos. So I would say make it a practice to always use uh, Revelio um, in a lot of different places that you go to. So we've pretty much figured out, figured out everything in here that I can think of, and I'm gonna leave back out. <laughs> we figured this shit out. And there's probably a bunch of other little puzzles and stuff like that too around here. So we did that one. Revelio. Awesome. Great guide. All right, so what else is here? Can I get over there? Nope, doesn't look like I can get over there. Maybe time to go down, but I know that there's another puzzle uh, earlier that I saw, but I never did get a chance to mess with it. Can we mess with him? It doesn't look like we can. Revelio. Okay, so how can I open you? Lumos. Maybe not yet. Huh. Alright, let's head back down. I did see a uh, combination thing earlier when I was talking to uh, Professor Weasley, but I never got to uh, do it because when I went over to it, it took me out of how the uh, nice play to place. See you, my young friend. I see you too. Let's go up here and see if there's anything. Ooh, what's this? Okay. I've seen these different cats all over the place. Let's climb up here and let's see what's going on. Okay. Uh-huh. Gonna take what's in here. Thank you. Bunch of crystal balls. Okay, let's see. What do we do? Under Professor Black's uh, direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of uh, what is it? Divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at, at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Wiz uh, Weasley. Okay, so... Not sure if she is. Looking like the ancestors. What's this? It's like some alchemy stuff here. All right, let's get back down. Wait, what is this? Revelio. Ah. Palmistry model. I think that there was one, so I'm gonna definitely start or uh, collect more of those uh, pages. And it looks like there's a sound cue every time you get near one. Cast Revelio and it pops up. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Well, thank you. Thank you for your, your contributions. I need to find that one area that I went to earlier. Now, what else is on this floor first? What's going over there? 
This game will have you exploring all kinds of stuff because it's massive. I really do wonder how long they were in um, development with this game. Okay, not much going on here. Let's go ahead and head down the stairs. I do need to find that other combination lock that I saw earlier with Miss Weasley. So I don't think there's much here. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on right there? What's going on with the frame skip? Okay, we're in Central Hall. Let's keep going down. Not gonna mess with that. Was it in here? And then outside? In the library. Hmm, what's going on in the library? Every time I pass a uh, globe, I'm gonna spin it. What is this? Revelio. Restricted section? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, what else is over here? Spin that globe too. I bet there's an accomplishment for spinning every globe in the game. Revelio. What else is around here? Okay, we're gonna keep going a little deeper into the library. Here I see one globe to spin. It seems like there's chests everywhere too. I'm supposed to be doing the mission. I'm supposed to be like, you know, inside of Clash right now. Uh, I think defense against the dark arts and I'm not even, didn't even go near it. Hmm. Revelio chest here but it's behind here how do I get there how do I turn off the fire will I burn myself Lumos what's behind this wall Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay. There's something else over there in the corner. It's like it's locked though. Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to get past that flame a little bit later. Let's go upstairs though. Revelio. Revelio is an extremely useful tool. Ah, what's this? Lumos. So it's on the other side with a picture of a guy with his hand over his mouth. Where is this area? It's not there. Maybe the other side. Rebellion. There's a globe to turn. Alright, so where is this area? Unless it's in another library somewhere. Oh wait. Protego. Lumos. Because he's right behind me. Hey man, there's another globe. Nope, thought it was. Let's 
return you back to where you came from. Revelio. Nice. Looks like there's a chest I missed there too. Every, every, every turn, uh, I'm finding stuff. So let's go to our uh, field guide. It looks like um, there are some things that I miss here. Charm Clash, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Okay. And there's another one too. Inventory. Cool. Cool. So I think that I even picked up some gear as well. I did. Face wear, I can use the... Um, this may be level capped. Yeah, I gotta be level three. This I can put on though. Huh. Now put those gloves on, baby. I thought I had a face mask as well. But I may not be able to put it on. Inventory, what do we have? So no herbs, no nothing else. Oh, looks like I could put on a hat, though. Blood red fedora. Or dark flat cap. Yeah, we're going to leave that alone and keep this. Uh, let's see what else do I have. A scarf that I just found. I found one earlier. This was the uh, Neapolitan stripe scarf. I'll put that on. And then the robes. Huh, nice. Looking good. Don't have a, a wand just yet. Well, I do have one that I picked up from my uh, Harry Potter account online by linking my WB account. But yeah, looks nice. Quests. Okay. So, let's see, collections. I should have found a, lot, a pretty good bit of things. Oh, cool. This game is chock full of mysteries. Yeah, look at me now. Yeah. So I figured that riddle out. Let's uh let's go somewhere else. Let's find that one lock that I was looking for. All this and I haven't even started the quest in it or anything yet. Uh, I've been kind of just messing around. Game developers did a great job so far, um, from what I can tell. So let's leave the library and let's find that uh, one combination. I do want to see what might be in there. Now, let's see, where was I talking to Weasley? Oh, there it is. Or there's one. Okay, so let's see which. There should be one corresponding somewhere else, but I gotta find the entire thing. The fact we're having this conversation this here. is fuss. No one cares that you took a puff scheme into the library. Okay, nothing there. So I'm thinking it's gonna be one big riddle uh, for that one that I just I saw. Living in I may skip that for later. Let's, let's push and let's try to figure out what our uh, quest is now. I think this is the wrong way. It is. But now that since I'm here, <laughs> I kind of want to see what else is down here. What's this? What is 
is this? Rebellion. <laughs> Told you it was all. You know, as soon as you hear that little chime, it's just something around. Can't go in there. Can I go in here? I can. There's another one. Just finding all kinds of stuff. Lumos. Okay, nothing there. But I do see that there's a chest underneath. Uh, oh, I can go upstairs. Huh. Revelio. What's this? This game is beautiful. What are those? I can go I can go outside here. Okay, this is where I came in. But that's locked right there. Rebellion. I see those trees are there, so I can go outside on this door here. No, it's locked. Hmm. Okay. It's cool. Can't find all the secrets in the game just just yet, so let's keep going. Do you suppose Black's children are as cool as that? Who are these? Lumos. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. A little bit of stuff Rebellion. I've seen. This game is massive. I can't open that chest. Look at this. Yeah, I live in Hogwarts. Indeed, your field guide. I've noticed you've been included. Look at this plant. Rebellion. This game is for people who like to do side quests. This game is definitely for people who like to do side quests. Oh, hello there. That's locked, so I can't go in there, but we can go back up. Alright, let's head back out and <laughs> let's get sidetracked some more. With some more things because I know I'm going to see something I want to stop by. We still didn't find that lock that I was looking for. I didn't even see this coming in. What's this? Level lock, huh? Oh, 
Rebellion. Like I'm level three now. I think there was a piece of equipment that I could probably use uh, when I became three. So let's go back to our gear. Ah, uh, that's what it was. But it actually drops things down lower. So now, okay. Face wear, nothing. I think that was it though. Okay. I wonder if I can ring those bells. Well, since they did shot they did show or they did move i bet there's a combination that i can put them in oh look there's a nice old Rebellion. field guide page there hmm, can i go in here it's so easy to get lost in here It looks like I can just go anywhere, just about. Hi. Lumos. Revelio. Well, nothing may be in here, but we're going to go through this door here. Oh, it's level locked. All good. What else is around here? Level locked, of course. There's a cat here. Nobody. All right, let's go to let's go to class. Uh, I think when I was going through here, I was supposed to go this way. Defense against the dark arts. We're just exploring here, huh? this Revelio Atmosphere, the people walking around, the footsteps, the water, everything. What do we have here? Rebellion. Ah, that's right. Let me track something. Let's see, what was it? Um, Hogwarts grounds. Talk to me, we're not going there. Quest. Let's go there. Oh, the other way. I was totally in the wrong place. Stupid. 
Oh, you've got. Uh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, steady your wand with L and guide it along a symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion uh, along the symbol's path, okay. So now we have Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise good. Now, well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. So I gotta Duelist, somebody. take your marks. It's time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, ah. and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Protego. Complicates things. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Let me know. I know. This can't be your fault. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Whoop his ass. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> get out of here, Slytherin. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Mm. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Well, thank you. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Who are you? Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Okay. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Revelio. 
what else is in here? Talk nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. <laughs> In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, hmm. you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Already. Till next time. Uh, should we go to the next class or what? I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. All right, let's see what's next. Going to charms class. Hey, kitty. Hey, wait a minute. Did I pet you already? Oh, there's another cat, huh? What are you guys doing here? Let me go to the next one. Another cat? Sorry, I got a thing for cats. I like them. Uh, Let's see. Where is the charms class? Rebellion. What? I bet there's a sequence of these. That's a secret from somewhere. All right, so where do we need to go? I said charms classes upstairs, but I don't see any stairs. How nice to see you, my young friend. 
Revelio. Level lock, okay. So if it says the class is upstairs, how do I get to it? Oh, because there's the stairs that go up. <laughs> Stupid. Some of us don't necessarily Broom want him to get back to the style, lesson. I think. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good. I'm everyone. loving That's the ethnic time. representation in the game. You all seem to I have gotta say that. Down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Oh, J.K. Rowling is probably hating life right now. Yeah, you know, all the uh, ethnic representation is really impressive in the game. I really do think that they have a hit. This could be. I'm speaking too soon, maybe, but maybe game <sighs> of the year, maybe. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? Yeah, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like Accio, if you will. But in Very good. Ah. Uh. Uh, 
Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Okay. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Cool. Yes, sir. Here we go! Okay. All right, I might lose this one. There we go. Akio. Excellent control there. Let's see what we can do here. Phew. I might make it come off the edge though. Ah, that's too far. Stop, stop, stop. Yes. Brilliant. Watch this. Huh. That is how it's done. Okay, let's tie it up, hell. I don't care. Akio. Yeah, let's tie it up. <laughs> Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No. Oh wow. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Too far. Don't lose your composure. Lisa. Nice. Phew. Yeah, I lost this one, but it's okay. I got a little closer, but uh, I think it's because I lost one of those. I'm pretty much done. That is how it's done. Only way I can win is if I get a uh, hundred or another fifty. Akio, do not think I will start going easy on you now. And I win. Nicely done. Very good, both of you. Well done. That was fun. That was very fun. Oh, man. That was close. I almost messed it up. <clears throat> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Oh, she's so cute. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. 
Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Oh, her mother is the one that's upstairs. I saw the letter that's in my collections. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Hmm. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Mm. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about uh, another wizarding school. I meant school. to ask another question. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. A word, if you would. Well, you'd be using yeah, you wanted to, to speak with me, Professor. I did. You know it I trust you. your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition yes, wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Rebellion. Wow, I'm level four already? Sheesh. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Let's talk to her. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Let's go upstairs and see what else is up here. Is that a ogre? <laughs> It looks like the Michelangelo uh, picture of a human. Level locked. Okay. Hello. How was your first day Hello, coming Samantha. along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> what next? There's only one common room that everyone would be. What are you up to no, now? How come this one didn't unlock? Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. <laughs> it was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fine! Fight! It's a bold attack! Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, 
and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> 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 what a strange place. Revelio. Ah, level locked. But there's a globe. I'd be glad if they let us convene at the three rooms. And I see there's a chest back here. I hope to have an owl of my own one day. Oh, nice. And a black cat. Oh. Let's see. Oh, Can I reveal something here? What is this? Revelio. No, but it's drawing something. Because things are changing all the time. That's the point of history. I hardly think that's the point of history. This? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel Lumos. was before I invented flu powder. Oh. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. So it looks like there's a chest inside Rebellion. of that room that was locked. What's next? Uh, let's go to our quest. See what's next. Weasley after class and cross wands. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, we'll do that next. Okay. Oh, so there are different things. Cool. Those are the ones that I've already done. So let's track this one. <laughs> she is over there. Wait, what was that? Globe, of course. What do you need there, Miss Weasley? Can I run through here? I can. Uh... Oh, I didn't touch you last time. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. The voice ah, acting is superb. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Mm. Isn't there? <laughs> Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Sure. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. 
And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. All right, guys, let me take a quick break and I will be right back.
How flying messes up my there. If only a new student were to help me with <sighs> you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Perhaps later. Come back when you're feeling up to it, if ever. Revelio.
Rebellion. Houskers can procure rancid meat and no one says a word. Lumos. Oh, watch the tile under your feet, you'll set off a... something foul. Rebellion. Lumos. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most My parents were three Rebellion. put in charge. Our families have been friends for centuries. Professor Black was terrible before he decided to cancel quiz. The unfairness of being hung here, why it warrants looking into. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation, and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me.
Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Revelio fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Sometimes I wish I needed a new wand, just so I'd have an excuse to visit Ollivander's again. I could open one boxes all day. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around.
Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Have you ever been to the kitchens? I hear it's run by house elf. Professor Weasley's already preparing me to take my turn to be great in any number of things. I do get nervous when the owls fly into the great pool. Rebellion. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. 
I'd want this back too if I were her. Sharp didn't think much of it. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. as to why that portrait was empty. It does seem a little strange, though. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Let me also. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let me also. Revelio. Levioso. Akio. Professor, why must I complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. Must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic.
All right, we just learned Reperio. Uh, let's go repair that statue That's it. in the back. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Reparo. Allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps the wounded lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. All done. Sorry about being silent for so long. I had to have a phone call. We were literally talking about the game. So, yeah. Let's see, what's next? Let's check out what quests are now. Hogsmeade? Okay, let's go. I could probably um, fast travel there. But I like the scenic route. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. All right, let's go. And I think when we get to Hogsmeat. Um, I will end the recording there and then probably still keep on playing. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a good look at what uh, Hogwarts looked like and kind of, uh, you know, finish a few of the little small quests before it starts getting really serious. She, I was she wants to run. Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. I would have been out of breath by now. I ain't gonna lie. They jogging a little too oh, long. Wait, over here. <laughs> What's this? I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Ooh. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. So you can gather all kinds of materials too for your potion making. Nice. Rebellion. Nothing here to see. And if I'm not mistaken, Look, from the Forbidden Forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Hippogriffs. <laughs> Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be going in there. Lies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Hmm. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. 
I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley oh, wait, mentioned that? that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. This game is an explorer's dream for gaming. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I'm gonna be running all through the grass trying to find stuff. It's gonna be so much fun. Mr. That Moon, he is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. What's this? I think I just saw something over the corner. Yep, right there. What's that? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new Maybe I can't pick it up yet? Pleasure. Unless I have um, to do something to it. Turn, uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Poor Mr. Moon, a Demi, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. Moonstone. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And we're going into Hogsmeade now. And there's a cat. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Such a beautiful game. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Yeah, so my game, or not my game. I will see you soon. But my computer is doing a virus scan right now. And <laughs> it's making my game slow down. Uh, let's see, what can we figure out? Hmm. So that's where we want to go. Call the wands. Right ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? 
Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, well, come with thank me. you very much. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Yeah, let me get my Applewood wand with uh, the uh, unicorn no, core. No, no, not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. No, man, my core is my shit's yeah. fourteen inches with the try. unicorn core Applewood, man. What you mean? Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Nope. <laughs> uh, um, Give me my wand. We'll find you something not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, oh, oh. Bruh. <laughs> Put it back in the box. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Yup. I don't want that one either. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... Where are you? Perhaps you? Purple box. Ah, there you are. I want the purple box, damn it. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. They did give it to me. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. So if you linked your uh, WB games and your Harry Potter fan club website to uh, this uh, Hogwarts Legacy, the one that you get on the website comes into the game. And this is the one that I had. Applewood, unicorn hair, rigid with 14 inches. So and they gave it to me. Nice. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Very nice. Yeah, this is game of the year type stuff right here. It really is. Revelio. Looks like I can't go through there, but it's all good. Thanks a lot, bud. Revelio. Ah. All right, so now that I have my my wand, I think I'm going to end the recording here. Um, as you can see, like there's so much stuff to explore and do. The mysteries and the secrets that are inside the game are just amazing. So uh, if you like Harry Potter, if you like just want to get away from whatever game that has you in a chokehold right now, try this game out. Uh, of course, it's going to be about 60 70 bucks, depending on where you buy it at, but it's definitely worth it. 
I've only scratched the surface of the game, and so far I'm extremely impressed. I think that this is definitely going to be game of the year. Anyway, you heard it here first at Dark Skater 7. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Dark Skater out. Peace.